And that's how I learned that a hippo doesn't do the cha-cha. <laughs> Oh, has anyone else got any tall tales or stories to tell? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, boys, I've got a tale for you. A tale as old as time. Passed down to me by generation by generation. A story of a lumberjack. A lumberjack by the name of Benjamin. In a land far, far away. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Doesn't matter, my son. What matters is this. Benjamin Murphy had been a lumberjack most of his life. But when it came to chopping trees, he didn't have an ounce of luck. Even the woodland creatures would show him up. He was struggling to meet his wood quota, and now he needs even more to fix the cabin. And the sun was setting. Ben didn't want to sleep under the stars so he had to think resourcefully. In the midst of broken logs, Benjamin would find a curious object. Ben had only heard old folk tales passed down from generation to generation of a tree that was said to be as old as time and the first to grow from the ground. Hundreds of lumberjacks had tried to find this sacred tree, only known as the mystery. They say a compass exists, made from the mystery itself that would lead the noble lumberjack to the location of the true mystery. For the one to drop down this tree would have their names etched forever in lumberjack history. He had no idea how far away the mystery might be. So he used his family's only method of transport, set off to follow his destiny. Hold on a minute. Where did he get this blimp from? <laughs> well, it was his father's blimp. Ah, yes. blimpity blimp. It was a blimpity blimpity blimp. Blimpity blimpity blimp. Anyway, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, to follow his destiny. Many other lumberjacks have tried to find the right tree, but none have prevailed. What they were looking for remains hidden. The compass had taken him this far, but it was up to Ben to make the next move. This was no ordinary tree. Ben had found the hidden location for Splinter, the axe as would make any worthy person a legendary lumberjack. So it looked like the hard times were finally over for Benjamin Murphy. Can I have my beer bag? I've drunk half of it. Well, I thought that was a fair price for the tale. Who animated it? Well, my son, I think my words painted a vivid enough picture. You haven't really answered my question.